Hello there and welcome back to the channel and returning to my series on the Celts. Now, my last video in the Celtic Tribe series was on the Atribartes and as I said in that I was going to do a bit more of an exploration on some of the individuals from some of the better known tribes, particularly the Atribartes because they are more well associated with the Romans. We have more first-hand accounts of them directly from Julius Caesar, Mark Antony and others. So we have a bit more meat to get into with the particularly with the southern tribes so this video is on king tincormorus as usual warning i'm going to butcher a lot of pronunciations i think that is how it is pronounced but it probably isn't i don't speak ancient celtic or latin or whichever particular version of it that is it also is more likely chieftain, but he's often referred to in literature as king. But it will actually have been chieftain, as that is the actual designation they had. And before we get started, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. Hit the bell icon if you think this video is worth it and worth your time. There is a full playlist, which I am currently in the process of building up, all in reference to the Celtic tribes of pre-Roman Britain, basically everything from before 43 AD when the Romans turned up. Anything after that point I may touch on, but I'm not going to explore in any great detail because I'm trying to build up a map of what ancient Britannia and Hibernia looked like before the Romans. And mostly I'm focusing on the tribes, but I am doing a few offshoot videos, particularly of individuals, chieftains or some notable individuals from that time period who stand out and are worth a little bit more exploration. So far we've done individuals like Caraticus or Caradog as I have been corrected, and also of course Boudicca. And as I said today, it is on Tincormorus, the leader of the Atribartes tribe. And again, before we get fully into this, this video is sponsored by my sponsor, Relentless Rebels, who have been mentioned previously. They are linked in the description below and they specialize in Viking style jewelry and such things. Uh, if it's decent quality and if there's anything on their website that you do like, please use the code NERD20, all in capitals, when you go to the checkout and you'll get yourself a 20% discount on all your purchases. This helps out the channel, or all of my channels, and it gets you a 20% discount on something you might like, so win-win. With that said, let's get into this video. Tincormorus was the chieftain of the Atribartes tribe. He jointly ruled the tribe with his father, but from around 20 to 25 BC, he began minting his own coins that have the abbreviated name Tink wrote on them, and the head, despite the appearance it is not a representation of Tincormorus's face on the coin it is actually a representation of Medusa it's a gorgon basically the coins are similar to those being stamped out in Rome at the same time now touching on his father for a moment the Atrobati tribe as I mentioned was a Belgic tribe that also existed on continental Europe his father was known as Commius the Gaul and he deserves his own video which he's going to get at some point despite the fact I'm not going to touch on him too much here because he's a Gallic figure, although he did become the chieftain of the Atrobati tribe in Britannia. He was both an ally and then later enemy of Julius Caesar, and he fled to Britannia. He gave up some of his family as hostages to the Romans, and to Mark Antony specifically, in exchange for his freedom to guarantee his um, compliance with the Romans. Some historians have then argued that Tincormorus was raised in Rome as a Roman hostage and then released and sent back to his home territory. And we know the Romans did educate several chieftain sons, particularly from the lower Brit Britannic tribes, in order to sort of indoctrinate them into the Roman way of life. By a, the last couple of decades of the BC period in Britain, uh, a lot of Roman finds and goods, pottery and other things, exotic items, imports from the continent begin turning up in Atribati's territory in particular from Caliva Atribartum. Now, Tincormorus was the chieftain of the tribe throughout this entire time period, succeeding his father, who, as I said, I'll do a full video on his father at a later date, but he is a very interesting figure in and of himself, probably more interesting than Tincormorus, actually, so he's definitely getting his own video. Now... He was later, in approximately 8 AD, ousted by his people and replaced by his brother as chieftain of the tribe. He then fled to Rome as a refugee. Emperor Augustus uh, recognized his brother as the new 
chieftain of the tribe, which was, of course, by this point, a strong ally of Rome's. As I've said, it was the Atrebates who invited the Romans into Britannia in the first place to help in their defence. And Tincomerus lived out the rest of his days in Rome. Now, he was a powerful and wealthy leader of the Atrebates, and he ruled them, as I said, from maybe as far back as 25 BC all the way to 8 AD. He was probably raised in Rome, and his father was no, Commius the Gaul. He had two brothers, one of which would succeed him as the leader of the tribe, as I previously mentioned. However, he was probably not very well liked, because he was something of a very pro-Roman chieftain. The other Celtic tribal states in Britain were not as pro-imperial as he probably was, and probably made him a bit of an outcast. That is, of course, just my conjecture. I can't actually testify to it, it's not like they've left any written records, nor any actual images of him, hence the lack of visuals of this particular individual. We do have a lot of coins with him represented on them, and there are references to him made by Romans, particularly again during the reign of Augustus. Now, as for his two brothers, Epilus and Verica, probably pronouncing those wrong, someone correct me. I also think I'm remembering one of them slightly off. There isn't a great deal on them, so I'll do another video at some point which is focusing purely on those two historical individuals. Uh, he was succeeded not by Verica, but by Epilus as the chieftain of the Atrebates. Now, the reason I say he probably wasn't very popular in Britannia, he was achieving the status of client kingdom of the Roman Empire. He was well on his way to doing it long before the Romans invaded Britannia. And, as I said, the other tribes, particularly the Catavalloni, who were the dominant power in southern Britannia, were not exactly allies of Rome. They may have traded with it, but they weren't interested in becoming a client kingdom. Now, he was expelled for reasons that are not documented historically, at least nothing I can find, so we don't know why he was kicked out, but that's probably a pretty good indication. It could have also been abuse of power or any number of different things. Maybe he pissed off the wrong person, but clearly they didn't have a problem with the dynasty because his brother was easily able to take power, and the Romans didn't bother to try and upset the balance of power by trying to reinstate him as the chieftain of the tribe. Instead, ratifying his brother as the new recognised leader of the Atrebates. And as I said, his father deserves his own video, so we're going to do one on his, on his dad, but I'm not going to really touch on him right now, because he's a much longer story. But there is the not exactly impressive life of Tincormorus. He did try to exert influence over other tribes near to him and failed, again, probably something that may have helped aid in his exile from not only his tribe, but the whole Celtic world. He couldn't even stay in Gaul, he had to flee all the way to Rome for protection. So he, he must have done something pretty spectacularly um, annoying to someone, let's say. But maybe not so bad that the Romans handed him back over in order to maintain diplomatic relations, so... At least, again, nothing I can find. As far as I can tell, he died in Italy many years later. None of his children that I can particularly find out about. There's literally nothing. So either his whole family went with him, or there's just they just disappear from the historical record. But we do know about him from printed co from stamped coins as well as other historical archives and references made by the Romans. L let me know in the comments below. Have you ever heard of him? I can't imagine many people have. I'd heard the name, but I'd only, I, I really came up with more about him when I was doing my breakdown of the Atrebates more extensively, and felt that a reference to a specific chieftain was something that needed to be explored to f help, again, put the Atrebates in frame. It's men like him are the reasons why the Atrebates were so close to the Romans in the first place. And again, this was the baby steps towards the Roman invasion. It's plausible that Augustus may have been interested in also invading Britannia, but Augustus spent a lot of his time expanding to the east instead, through to Thracians and other such peoples, causing him trouble on those borders. But it's entirely plausible that he had intended in invading Britannia, and maybe even using the reason he didn't just kill Tincomorus was, or hand him back over, was because he may have 
been planning to possibly use again this is hypothetical just hype just myth theorizing he may have been planning to use his ousting as chieftain as a pretext for a Roman invasion to reinstate him, and then the Romans simply wouldn't have left. That's more or less what would happen a few decades later with Claudius. So, there we go. This is the first baby steps to the Romanization of Britannia. Education in Rome, creating established trade links, becoming client kingdoms, becoming friends and then applying for, appealing for a direct intervention by the local superpower in your internal problems and then not realizing they're just not going to go away once they're in. So, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you think of this historical individual and if there's anything about his story that I have missed. Because I may have done. Feel free to tell me. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, thank you and bye-bye.